space shuttle. Do you see it? Yeah. Whoa. Are you excited? Daddy, are you excited? I'm excited. Look at there's a countdown as you come in. What? Five, four, three, two, one. Lift off. All right, we're going under the crawler to pay for our parking. We need a T minus countdown. Yeah. All T right, minus three, three two, two, one. one. And, and we're, we're back. back at Kennedy Space Center. What? what? The ultimate space day. There's a giant meatball. Giant meatball. <laughs> Let's go check out the Kennedy Space Center. I gotta know, when can we do this again? So this one is only one that is not a real rocket, it's a model, the rest are real. But obviously they've never flown because the only rocket that comes back is SpaceX's Falcon 9. Kind of tiny in there, buddy. Ready to go to space? All right. Well, I think our first step is to go on the KSC bus tour. We have pondered our place amongst the stars since the dawn of humankind. We've looked at the stars with wonder and amazement, their glow guiding our travel for centuries. The more we learn about our universe, the more questions we have. The sheer scale of this building is hard to grasp, even when you're right next to it. Do you ever feel really small when you think about space? What about when you're standing next to a skyscraper or a really big bridge? Well, I feel about as small as an ant right now. I'm standing inside the vehicle assembly building trying to grasp how large it really is in here. It has four bays. Each bay has two large horizontal doors below it and seven smaller vertically opening doors above it, tall enough to fit the world's largest rocket through. In fact, these are the largest doors in the world. The entire BAB? It's so huge that the Roman Colosseum would fit on the roof with room to spare for a parking lot. By volume, the VAB can fit three and a half Empire State Buildings, and it would take 250 billion ping pong. 
pong balls to fill it. All right, so here is the vehicle assembly building with the world's tallest doors. They are 456 feet tall and they take 45 minutes to open. All right, so after the moon landing show, they drop you into a room and see all sorts of moon artifacts, like this lunar sample. What? From Apollo 15. It's estimated to be 3.7 billion years old. That's some high grade cheese. That is some high grade moon cheese. <laughs> Wow, buddy. That's what they landed on the moon with. Can you believe driving that thing down to the moon? That would be a bad bad I can't fold it What do those red buttons do? There's no attitude controller. Ooh, you need one of those. <laughs> <laughs>
Hopefully you sunk that baby. These guys are creating quite a mess here on the moon. All right, well, here is the Moon Rock Cafe out here at the Saturn V Center. They actually have a fairly decent option uh, availability for gluten-free, obviously. Salads, those always work for you. Um, and they have gluten-free buns for their burgers, and they have a uh, plant-based Beyond Burger. So you can get all that done. Now, the plant-based Beyond Burger has to be grilled to cook uh, if you want a gluten-free bun, because um, they do pre-make them earlier in the day, and they're sitting there in the, the, the warming container. But you can get chicken tenders, hot dogs, the kids' PB&J, cheese pizza, and a pepperoni pizza. Ooh. And Wally found some neat ice cream. Little mini Dippin' Dots. He got the banana split to see what that looks like. All right, well, it is time for lunch. We grabbed some food from Moon Rock Cafe, came outside. Wally is trying to eat his dessert first, but he did find the little space ice cream Dippin' Dots. And, and you got cheeky tenders. They had a nice kid's meal. Mark and I have fries so far, but yes, and you got an icy with blue and red lots of sugar we're all tired um, but mark is getting we got gluten-free they actually have gluten-free buns so i'm getting a beyond burger mark's getting a burger and then they also had the lady said these are really good david's gluten nut and dairy-free chocolate chip brownie so that's kind of nice Ooh, and russ got the pizza if you wanted to get the cubano but i don't know the i didn't want to wait for it yeah so he said it's pretty good yeah, that's right. Comparable to Disney Fest yeah. Pizza. Okay, well, here it is. A fresh, gluten-free bun hamburger. Mm. And Irene got the Beyond Veggie Burger. Ooh. Have you dug into those yet? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm sure you have. Yeah, he's already eaten it all. <laughs> so they wouldn't melt, right, yeah. buddy? That was a good idea. We're outside now on the uh, surface of the sun simulator. You bet you didn't know they installed this here at NASA, <laughs> but that's what this is. Isn't that the whole state of Florida? Pretty much. Pretty much. <laughs> And probably the most iconic thing here, the MTV Moon Man. You know, that's pretty much what they built all of this for, was just to hold the Moon Man. I guess it's time for a gift shop. I mean, if you want to get me one for $1,400, <laughs> Maybe that's the, uh, present you I'll put it on my desk. <laughs> wow, look at that. It's the figure eight they did, out to the moon. On the moon and bed. 25 bucks for the t shirt. Not too bad. Got some new Artemis gear here. Right with the organizing for the moon and Mars. It was out here for a couple of weeks for a wet dress rehearsal, which was successful. Now they plan on having a launch in August. Uncrewed, of course. Pretty exciting.
Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's what they can't that's what they finally landed on wasn't it i mean this thing is massive i've got the wide angle lens on it i'm standing this close i can't can't get it all in wow well this is cool a little interact interactive area Wally, look through those green things up on your head. That's how they flew it. Wow. Okay, well, we are up here to do the shuttle launch experience at this awesome themed queue area. Wally's all excited. But don't worry, it's engineered to come back to vertical before you go. That's what we call the twang. You're getting a lot of power from those main engines, but you're going to need even more to get to orbit. That's where the solid rocket boosters or SRBs come in. These guys were the most powerful solid fuel rocket engines ever flown. The SRBs ignite when the countdown gets to zero. Yikes, Wally! We come out into this star drain, as Russ <laughs> called it. <laughs> All right, so that was the uh, space shuttle experience. It was very interesting. I skipped. Yeah, you skipped. I didn't like it. Wally didn't like it. They, you know, they do a sufficient job of, of freaking you out, but you can always judge an experience by its harness system and it was just a seat belt so my summary of it is they put you in a thing uh, much like the star tours simulator they tip you on your back and shake you <laughs> and shake you and it actually is a pretty violent shaking I was going to go, but that's it so if you can handle being put on your back and being shaken a little bit you can do that Astronauts Memorial Foundation operates. The Center for Space Education offers educational technology programs and a living memorial to the astronauts who made the ultimate sacrifice to the space program.
they've got some cool demo tech here. This is the Mars Exploration Rover. I'm not on the moon. I think I was though. Wow. Now to check out the newest addition here at the Taking Space Center, the Gateway. Whoa, is this Cosmic Rewind? And here's booster 1023. This was a Falcon Heavy side booster. What? And there's the business end of a Falcon 9 rocket. There's nine Merlin 1D engines. Full thrust on this model. Yikes. Those things have been to space and back. Here's actual flight flown hardware. This is a Dragon version one capsule. What? That thing's surely a little bit roasty. Wow. Absolutely amazing. I don't know where Wally is, but there's his cube set, Wally and Eva. Those things are tiny. All right, here's the new RL10 engine. Whoa. Looks like ULA gave him some models. We've got an Atlas V here. There's a Delta IV Heavy. Ooh, this one they're showcasing their Parker Solar Pro. Here is ULA's new Vulcan rocket. Whoa. This one hasn't even launched yet. And then this full size model of the new Orion crew capsule. Ooh, they've got a demo Mars rover in here. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Different size heat shields. And this is what they're thinking they're gonna have, the new exploration vehicle. I thought that's what that one out in front was. This is probably more real. And here's Perseverance, old Percy. And Curiosity. Wow. Oh, look at they have a model of the Ingenuity helicopter. That is cool. That is super cool. Hey, well now it's time to check out the world's largest space shop. What? And there's even information in here. You know me guys, I'm a Worm Logo fan.
like they've got some exclusive corksicle items here. That's pretty cool. And some awesome mugs. If they had a travel one that said this, I might consider it. Okay, these are really cool, you guys. know I like Silly Pint. They've got the meatball logo and they've got the worm logo all on a variety of glassware. What? These are all silicone, so you can take them outside. I don't know, should I get the shot glass? Or the wine glass? Okay, that's really cool. Super cool. And up here on the second floor, they've got an assortment of kids' games and puzzles and science toys and Legos, what? Okay, that's pretty creative. The Milky Way ice cream shop. That's pretty creative. Let's see what they got in here. Show me what it does. Uh, is that like Emperor Palpatine? All right, well, is, is the story a lot of times in Florida? We need to get out of here before it starts here. raining. Yeah, it's just a little <laughs> thunderstorm. We had a great day. Wally's ending with another round of Dippin' Dots because when in space, you gotta get space ice, ice cream. cream yeah. <laughs> all right, well, we had an awesome day at Kennedy Space Center. We almost saw all the things, but almost, really, but you can't see it all in a day. You can't see it all in a day. We got They're to right. do a lot. They say that on their website. They're yeah. right. All right, if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button and bell icon. And new friends <laughs> who are back, hit that like button. You know that helps us out. We're going to go ahead and link Russ's channel. I saw him filming today, too. What in the world with Russ? All right, guys, this is the wonderful world of Walter. He's enjoying his and ice And the boom going down the Yeah, head. there's boom. big thunder and lightning. <laughs> we love you guys just the way you are. Bye. Bye. There she goes.